I lived in Ferncliff North Apartments. Right behind me, technically, A11 used to be my apartment. Um, and so, again, I was born and raised here. Um, went to Rupton Middle School um, and then ended up going to Fleming High School. So a total of nine years we spent living over here. Nobody wants to wake up to hear that gun violence plagued their community. And so it, it hurts my heart that even when they're so young, involved in, you know, incidents like that, it's not a good thing for me. Even those family, friends, I don't care who it is. It, these are citizens of our city. And so by being citizens of One Oak City, it, it hurts my heart to know that they're dying even at 16 years of, of age when you got your whole life ahead of you. And so again, I tell people, put the guns down. There's another way, you know. Um, let's find a way to communicate to each other and interact with each other okay, in, a, in, in, in peace. That's where my heart is at. So I'm not gonna change my tone with it. A lot of times, even in the African-American community, so our communities in, at large, a lot of times people don't wanna talk about trauma or getting help, but it's okay to get help. It's okay for everybody to have to talk to somebody. Even as the sheriff, I gotta talk to somebody. Matter of fact, I talk to my people every day because if you don't have an outlet to be able to talk to somebody, it, it, it relates to other things and then you end up doing other things. And sometimes things that you end up regretting and it only take but a couple seconds for your whole life to be changed in front of you. Good for the better or change for the worse. So you have to make a decision that's gonna be, um, put, that'll put you in a position to where you're gonna grow and not hurt your, 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 your ability to be able to succeed in life and become a productive citizen.